Hello, my name's Elise, aka Assassin Agent, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, the day that I'm posting this, which is March 20th, 2021, marks the one year anniversary of the launch of Animal Crossing New Horizons to the Nintendo Switch, which is why I've got my little Celeste amiibo here. And that's also why for today's episode of Strawberries and Video Games, I simply wanted to do a one year in review of my personal experience playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Because I don't know about you, but I played this in a much different way than expected over the last year. And I honestly had a really unique experience with this game compared with any other game that I played before. Now I have to be honest, prior to Animal Crossing New Horizons, I had not played any of the previous games which have come out over the last 20 years. So I didn't really have the nostalgia of playing the previous games. And before the launch, when they were just talking about the game coming out, honestly, what ran through my mind was Oh, yeah, that game they referenced in Super Smash Brothers. That was really all I knew about Animal Crossing. But then when the launch day actually hit, as many of you know, we were at the start of this coronavirus pandemic. And at least for me here in the United States, we had just begun our first official lockdown. So I was locked inside, nowhere to go. And as you can imagine, I was looking for a video game to play. And at the time there was, I didn't know much about this game, but I didn't really know about any other games that had come out. Nothing that was really catching my eye at least. And even though I didn't know anything about it really, Given the circumstances, I decided to kind of watch the trailer, watch some gameplay, learn what it was about, and give it a chance. And watching the gameplay at that time, what stood out to me was the fact that you're this little character on an island and you're doing the most simple things like fishing, catching bugs, gathering materials, slowly building up your house. It just was such a simplistic game to me that maybe beforehand might not have actually grabbed my attention as much, but given the circumstances of the world was just what I needed. So for example, the idea of getting to play on this little island where the pandemic wasn't a thing, obviously. Life's worries weren't in this game. It just immediately seemed like such an escape for me, and that was something that I needed. But secondly, just doing really simple things in the game, such as fishing, that was also something that I needed too, because it was just really, really relaxing to do all these little activities. So I gave the game a try. And like many gamers, I ended up really grinding that game out for the first couple of months. And a lot of people said that was definitely not the intention of the game. It was supposed to be a very slow paced, relaxing game. And of course the creators had no idea that they were launching this right at the start of a pandemic. But it was really interesting to see how the pandemic changed how we interacted with this game, how many of us played it that might have otherwise passed it up, but then how many of us put in hours upon hours upon hours that spring just doing every little thing possible. I mean, it was to the point too where I was talking to so many people finding out, you know, who got the game, how much time were they putting into it, what were they doing with their turnips, what does their island look like? It suddenly became all this strategy, which was just interesting because like I said, people were saying this was not the intention of the game. It was supposed to be very simple, just chill, and we were all just going to town on it. For me personally though, this sort of gaming mode that I was in where I was just obsessed with Animal Crossing only lasted for so many months. Then I finally started to slow down my pace and play it probably the way it was intended to, which was just a couple hours a week, very leisurely. Um, I was no longer, you know, trying to do 10 million different things in the game, trying to strategize, trying to have the best island possible. I even remember for a while I had a, a pin board on Pinterest where I was trying to gather all these different ideas to make my island look just perfect. But like I said, 
I finally slowed down, I took a little bit of a breather, and even today I'm still playing it, but only for like one, two hours a week tops. And over the year, especially as things slowed down, one of the things that I've really looked forward to is checking out those seasonal changes. Everything from seeing how the trees change and seeing the weather change to the different fish and bugs that will come up that you can find in the sea creatures, but especially the, the holiday updates as well and seeing the new items that I can get in the store. Of course, I don't think it's been enough updates for me to go back to grinding out the game and I don't know that I ever will, but it has kept me interested. And at this point, now that I've reached a full year and we're back to the spring again and now the island in a lot of ways is starting to look like the way it did when I first started playing the game, I've been thinking a lot recently about what's next. And I don't know about you, but I've had a lot of ideas about what I would like to see in this game. I don't know what will come to fruition, I don't know what's going to come out next, but one of the things that I would love to see at some point is just the opportunity to build another island. Whether it's supposed to be in the same universe and I just like travel to another island, or maybe there's a second like save file or something, but at this point I've been really kind of wanting to start over but not give up my existing island if I want to go back and visit it, and I just really wish that they would make this an option sometime. Some other things that I've heard as well from, from other gamers is that they wish that at least the island could somehow become bigger so that they just have more space to work with. I also heard a rumor, just a rumor, that maybe someday they'll add an expansion where maybe there can be some new shops. I think that'd be cool to shop in more than just a couple places on the island. I think it would also be cool if eventually they added somehow maybe some new fruit trees or some new fish or bugs that we haven't seen before. Even though we've come full circle, we've seen a full year's worth of species, it would be interesting to somehow, you know, one day discover something new, or maybe we get a nook ticket and go to an island that's like nothing we've ever seen before. Things like that I think could be really cool in the second year of this game, perhaps. But of course, I don't know if any of this is going to happen. These are all just kind of wish list items, I think, at this point. But that's kind of where I'm at with the game. So it went from a game that didn't actually capture my interest at first, just because I didn't have the nostalgia or the experience of playing the other games. And I think I was caught up in too many other, other gaming experiences at the time, too much other stuff going on in life. But then given the situation that was the coronavirus pandemic, that suddenly changed my gaming experience and what I was looking for and kind of gave me the opportunity to to look at this game and give it a try and really fall in love with it. And then I went from, you know, discovering it, playing it to death for months, slowing down now to a leisurely pace, and now I'm kind of thinking about what's next. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to share what my year has been playing that game. And yeah, I just wanted to share my experience. And I would love to hear in the comments what it's been like for you if you've checked out this game. Were you a fan before or were you like me who is brand new to it? Did you grind the game out in the beginning or did you kind of play it more leisurely? Do you still play it now or did it fizzle out for you. And also, are there any items on your wish list for what you would like to see come to this game in year two? I'd love to hear it in the comments, and of course, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you've been liking the content on this channel in general, please be sure to subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you later.